Scorpios! Hey guys! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 1st to the 11th. Hello oldies and newbies. Uh, for those who are not used to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone in your environment or someone you're energetically attached to and it is energy so it can be reversed or vice versa. Energy is fluid, it's not linear. Then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. So Scorps. I did. I just heard Aquarius. That was weird. That was very weird. I just heard Aquarius. Um, Scorpios, I know you're not going to like what I'm about to say of what I picked up in my meditative session. So I'm priming you. Don't get your stinkers out. I'm just priming you. Okay. Scorpio, I heard compassion and understanding. Now that sounds really nice, right? It's energy you need to harness. Okay. It's energy that you need to you need to incorporate right now. I feel like a lot of wounding is coming up for you, which is very indicative of the energy that we're in, okay? Oh, sorry. Um, very indicative of the energy that we are in, okay, Scorpios? Um, I feel like a lot of you are looking at the past. You're looking at your wounding. You're looking at the things people did to you. And Scorpios, usually you guys are really great at looking at wounds and devouring that pain and just kind of transforming yourself. Scorpios, I, I actually feel like a lot of you are just kind of looking at what people did to you instead of like, how do I say this? How do I say this? It's like you're looking at the things people did instead of looking at how that's kind of changed who you are or made you who you are. Does that make sense? Where it's kind of like cause and effect. You're looking at the cause. You're not looking at the effect. We've all got wounds. We've all got pains. We all got triggers. You know, and sometimes that translates into some issues, some dysfunctions. I'm not calling you out. I'm not judging. We've all got them. And I'm a Scorpio too. Okay, so it's okay. Um, but I feel like you're looking at the causes. You're not looking at the effects. And the effects meaning how you kind of react in response to those similar situations. Okay? I did see a courthouse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a court case. I really feel like it's more about your energy, Scorpio. I feel like you guys are kind of being judge, jury, lawyer, executioner kind of energy where it's like you're you're really quick to kind of just look at the shit people did and put the blame on the people and Scorpios like I said you know when it comes to healing it's like sometimes there you have to take that responsibility for yourself right and how that's affected you and how to kind of correct that how to correct maybe maybe it's impacted you in a negative way maybe it's made you not so trusting maybe it's made you paranoid maybe it's made you codependent whatever it is whatever it is scorpio maybe it's affected the way you go about situations mm. that's what needs to be looked at here okay and the other word i know you're not gonna like it <laughs> i'm just the messenger i'm just the messenger okay scorpios um forgiveness i know that's a hard one i know that's a hard one scorpio uh forgiving yourself and forgiving others is also a big part of this. Scorpio, seems like you're you're in a week for healing, okay? It feels a little intense, I gotta be honest. It feels really intense. Some of you, there might be tests that come along with this as well. You know, you could be getting triggered and realizing, oh shit, this is actually a test and you gotta work on some stuff, right? Or you could be very disappointed in people in this upcoming week, very disappointed in people, and it might send you right back to that place of pain, back to where it all began, and some of you guys might get stuck there and not realizing okay, this is a test. This happened so I could keep learning. This happened because I haven't learned that lesson. This happened because I need to keep growing. All right, so Scorpio, some of you guys are in for tests, so just be aware of that, all right? So let's, why don't you, why don't we just go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle, okay? I know, heavy, heavy shit, I know. I'm sorry, Scorps. I'm just a messenger, I can't help what I get, okay? All right, let's do this. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Summonizing Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Summonizing Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Why are they showing me this? Is this a sunrise or a sun? Oh, a sunset. It is a sunset. Interesting. Uh, Scorpios, that tells me that you kind of are in transition here from night to day or day to night, right? You are in transition here. You could be ending a cycle and coming into a whole new cycle as well for some of you. There's such a somber energy about it, Scorpios. What is this? Oh, <coughs> oh shit. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> 
throat chakra. Hold on. Mm. Scorpios, holy shit. Do you have to say something? <coughs> oh my god. Or does someone have to say something to you? Mm. Oh, Scorpio, that came out of nowhere. Just as I was <laughs> I'm almost afraid to say it. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to say it. Uh. <coughs> uh. Just as I was feeling that somber, sad energy, boom, my throat chakra just got blasted. Mm. Uh, Scorpios, you or someone is really sad about the way something is going. You gotta talk about it. You gotta talk about it. Whether it's a convert. Oh, shit. Uh. Whether it's a conversation you're having with yourself or a conversation you're having with another person, it's time to talk about it. It's time to talk about it, okay? Woo! It could also be, it's also an energy of like grief. It's very five of cups. Very five of cups, which is scorpionic energy. <clears throat> wow, I think it's Mars and Scorpio if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Mars and Scorpio. Oh my God. Shit, Scorpios. Um, sorry, that really distracted me and threw me for a loop. Um, yeah, whatever this is, it needs to be addressed. I feel like for a lot of you, this is just a conversation you're having with yourself. And maybe this is just some grief and healing that needs to come in about something that really hasn't been addressed. Something that's deeply rooted where you're kind of like, again, fo focusing on what happened and not the effect of what happened. And the effect is what needs to be worked out, right? Ugh, ugh, excuse me. Oh, shit, Scorpio. All right, let's keep it going. <clears throat> Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh man, my throat chakra is going to be messed up. From October 1st to the 11th. I got a lot of videos to do today, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, we got a peeker. Oh, we got a couple peekers. What do we have? Oh, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. More Virgo energy. This is interesting. This is someone not working on a foundation. It's there. It's very much there. Scorpios, you could be distracted at work, or you could be not putting in a whole lot of effort into work right now. What is this? Oh, Scorpio. You're lacking some trust here. You're lacking some trust in whatever this foundation is. It's almost like um, <clears throat> your alarm bells have gone off. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jesus. This could also be a family issue as well. It could be a family member that you're dealing with. I feel alarm bells, alarm bells, alarm bells, alarm bells. And it's triggering you. Whatever these alarm bells are, it feels very intuitive. Or you could just be sensing a shift of something of some kind. And it's like alarm bells, alarm bells. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. I can't give to this. Like very strongly, it's what I, that's what I'm getting. Something's wrong, I can't give to this. But it feels like it's all very intuitive. Like you're feeling it very physically. It feels very physical. And you're, you're not trusting something. You're not trusting something. It's taking you back to your past though. Scorpio, it's happening for a reason. You're clearly getting triggered. You're clearly getting triggered. Oh my God. <clears throat> Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. <laughs> what did I say about intuitive? Yeah, you're getting this shit intuitively. Whatever it is you're sensing, alarm bells are going off, and I think you should trust it. I do think you should trust it. The moon, Piscean energy, could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Just be careful, because sometimes the moon is about illusion as well. About things that don't look quite right, but you can't really get the full truth about it. I really feel like you're picking up on something, <clears throat> or someone, or a shift of some kind, and you just know something's wrong. You just know. You know something's wrong, and for some of you, it is triggering you to something you've dealt with before. Listen to that. Listen to that, Scorpio. You guys are very intuitive for a reason. Listen to it. And in return of that, you're not putting effort into a foundation that feels like a very long-term, strong foundation. Some of you, it's a potential foundation that you could have with someone or in business. Others, it's something already established. But whatever it is, it has long-haul energy to it. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Keep in mind, this is still a pre-shuffle. 
Uh, Priest Shovel doesn't always have to pertain to the main reading. It usually does, but it's also a chance for extra messages to come out. Ugh. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those four of pentacles. Ooh, Capricorn energy. I'm getting control and power with this. You're picking, oh, Scorpio, you feel like someone's trying to control you. You feel like someone's trying to control you or control a situation and you don't like it. Mm -mm. You don't like it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't, you don't have to be, but, you know, very Capricorn energy here. <sighs> Shit, Scorpio. And it's like, if, <laughs> I mean, Scorpios, you get a rap for being controlling. <clears throat> You're actually not. But you do get a rap for being controlling. Um, but there's something triggering you and it's like, oh, I'll be damned if someone tries to control me. I'll be damned if someone tries to control me or control a situation or take advantage of me. Yeah, oh, oh, Scorpio, I can feel it. You're falling down the rabbit hole. You're falling down the rabbit hole of thoughts. You're falling down the rabbit hole of your past. You're falling down the rabbit hole of past pain and the shit that people have done to you, okay? I'm just saying I can feel it. I don't think your intuition is off that there has been a shift. Let me put it this way. <clears throat> I don't think your intuition is off in whatever it is you're sensing. However, I think where you're going with it, the details of it, might be a little off the mark because you're triggered. Does that make sense? When we're triggered, we don't think clearly. Ooh, four of wands. Aries energy. Ooh, a lot of Venus energy too, I just felt with that. Um, this is regarding a relationship you're already in or a potential relationship. It definitely feels like a romantic relationship. Could be business because we have a lot of pentacles here. We have mostly pentacles here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. I feel like we're almost calibrated. See if anything else wants to come out. Oh, fuck. Scorpios, there has to be some conversations here or some honesty, whether it's between you and yourself or you and another person, okay? Also, we have two fours here. Just want to point that out. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing... Hair font in reverse, Taurian energy. Oh, that did not want to stay in my hand. <sighs> Scorpio, you feel like someone's not being loyal to you. You're worried someone's taking advantage of you. You're worried someone is, oh, chariot in reverse on the bottom. Yeah, you're not trusting someone. You feel like they're trying to take advantage. You feel like they're trying to control a situation. You feel like they're trying to control you, take advantage of you. You've already made that judgment. Whether it's true or not, you've already made that judgment, okay? Because you're triggered. You sense the shift. You sense something's up, and I think your intuition's right about that. However, them needing to control you or have control over a situation or play you or take advantage of you may or may not be off the mark because some of you are very triggered by whatever it is you're feeling, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay. Just to save my voice, I won't do my normal intro. Uh, if, if you need the intro, please check out any other video. Or if you have any questions uh, or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, check out the link below or any other information you're wondering about is below as well. Okay? Ugh. Any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio? Wow, my voice is going out, guys. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. <clears throat> Any messages for Scorpio? Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. One more. Ooh, I just saw a white horse. Actually, I wanted to say stallion specifically, but white, very, like all white, very pure, very divine. Very, it, it almost feels very like high priestessy, but like more sexy than that. <laughs> more sexy than that. Kind of like, like a queen of wands, queen of cups, high priestess combo. Like that, that it's like, I, I don't know how to describe the energy. It just feels very magical, but also very seductive, but also very pure and very genuine. Scorpio, I feel like this is energy you're harnessing or someone's looking at you in this kind of a way. <clears throat> Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, October 1st to the 11th? Ooh, Five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. Ugh. Scorpios, yeah, you're revisiting past pain of where you felt defeated by other people. And you're working through that. You're trying to work through it, but some of you are really struggling here. 
some of you really struggling and it's making you wonder about people in your present as well really questioning people careful i do feel a little bit of paranoia with this okay i'm just being honest here feels like past defeat some of you were really taken advantage of quite a bit some of you it's really hard for you to trust people or it took you a long time to learn how to trust people might be something you guys are working through it's, yeah, you're really questioning almost everyone in your life now because of whatever has whatever shift has happened, it's it's really triggered you quite a bit. <clears throat> Again, just indicative of the energy we're in to deal with this stuff. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, October 1st to the 11th? I feel a lot of mistrust, Scorpio, a lot. And almost like, um, not quite overanalyzation, it's more like observation is what I'm getting. Like you're looking at every little thing to gauge, to gauge this person, gauge a situation or the people around you, their body language, the words they use, how they're using them, their tone, how they're contacting you, why they're contacting. It's like every little thing you're looking at it. Wow, yeah, uh, Scorpios, I, I'm tapped into very, very triggered Scorpios right now. And it's not even triggered like angry. It's not triggered like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sting ya. It's not even that. It's like triggered out of out of fear. Ooh, Scorpios. I know Scor Scorpios usually are not afraid of anything, but fear comes from ego, it comes from past pain. Scorpios, I know you don't want to admit it, but you're scared. That's why. That's why you're triggered. That's why you're on alert. That's why your bells and whistles are going off, and that's why you're looking and analyzing every little thing about everyone in your life right now. <clears throat> some of you, it's not that extreme. Some of you, it's just one person. But it is a spectrum of energy that some of you guys are de dealing with. You're scared. Any messages for Scorpios? <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. It could be a cusper, not necessarily. Oh, this is interesting. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I... Oh. Yeah, you're not saying anything. Oh, Scorpio. You're not saying anything. You're going within, you're going within on this and to analyze. You're going within to analyze people in your life based on past events, based on whatever the hell triggered you. And I felt like it was a shift. I don't even feel like it was something someone did. It might have been, oh, okay, it might have been for some of you guys, but I feel like it was a shift that happened and it, you just like, red alert. There's been a shift in force. <laughs> Something's off and you're triggered. You're not sharing it though. You're keeping a lot of the facts to yourself. like. The facts of what you do know and your intuitive hits, you're keeping all of that to yourself. <clears throat> you're doing a lot of listening, Scorpio. Ooh, nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, you're feeling, yeah, you're not confident right now, Scorpio. You're confident in what you're feeling, but you're scared. That's what I mean by lack of confidence. You're scared. You're scared, and that's why you're really on red alert to try and analyze the situation you're in right now. <clears throat> Any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th? Ooh, King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, could also be water or air. It could be done with another Scorpio, but not necessarily. You're looking at someone like they're deceitful. You're looking at someone like they're emotionally manipulative. Like, what's their end game? That's how you're looking at someone. You've sensed a shift with them or a shift in the, in the dynamic or just a shift in general. It's put you on red alert. You're going back in your past. And you're comparing it to your present, to people in your present, and it's making you analyze every little thing. And if, I gotta be honest, Scorps, it feels a little borderline, almost paranoia. I'm not trying to judge. I'm not trying to judge. I'm just the messenger. But this person in particular, you're really looking at them hard. <clears throat> you're looking at them hard. Um, you know they're holding back information from you, and that's not helping the situation either. And in turn, you're holding back a lot from them, and you're doing a lot of listening. When a Scorpio doesn't say anything, just, just a little tidbit for the cross watchers. Sorry, Scorpios, tell our secrets. Um, when a Scorpio is quiet, that's when you need to worry. It's not when they're giving you a love tap of their venom. It's not when they're yelling at you. It's not when, you know, they're, you know, hitting, hitting you up. It's when they're quiet is when you need to be a little nervous about a Scorpio, okay? Because that's when they're on red alert. <clears throat> Any messages for Scorpio? Jesus, Scorps. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Now we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. This is a block. This is a block here. I feel like this person, once you guys go on red alert, 
this person feels pretty alone okay because you go quiet you go quiet you listen to what they have to say but you don't reach out to them you don't extend your energy because you you don't trust you're not trusting you're you're scared scorpio when a scorpio is scared you don't trust shit <laughs> you really don't you don't trust anybody when a scorpio is scared um but with the five of pentacles in reverse this person does want to come back in this person wants to know what's going on it's so funny scorpio between you and this person because they are holding back from you and you know it so you start holding back from them and they're wondering why you're doing that it's kind of like a back and forth back and forth back and forth overall energy we have three of cups in reverse can't Syrian energy also soulmate energy from user reader you have all reversals and i'm hearing some of you guys say it i'm checking the deck yeah it's pretty 50 oh actually most of these are upright yeah most of these are upright i'm just saying i heard i heard some of you guys go check the deck don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I love you guys, but don't tell me what to do. See, we got a lot of uprights here. A lot of uprights. Yeah, you got all reversal, Scorpio. And underneath the three of cups in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Scorpios, this is kind of a, a tough situation, okay? This is a tough situation because, like I said, your intuition got triggered for a reason. And I definitely think you need to listen to that. I definitely think you need to listen to that. However, the place it's taking you to, it's taking you there to work stuff out, okay? There's a lesson here for you, Scorps. I can feel it. There's a lesson here. Um, <clears throat> but if you get too focused on the cause and not the effect and how to deal with the effect, I think this is going to be harder than it, than it has to be. The overall energy with the Three of Cups in a verse and the Wheel of Fortune in a verse, this is a standstill. This is things not moving in the right direction, things not progressing because... This is you kind of going down that rabbit hole of looking in your past here and thinking of everyone who's ever deceived you. Thinking of everyone who's ever done you wrong in regards to the similar situation that you're finding yourself in, okay? So let's look at the Five of Swords in reverse because that's where I feel a lot of heavy energy. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify this. Tell me about the Five of Swords in reverse. Scorpio, this is going to be a tough week. I can feel it. This is going to be kind of a tough one for you. A lot of tough energy here it's just very heavy it's very heavy even for a scorpio i got five of swords in reverse time about five of swords in reverse for scorpio regarding love october 1st to the 11th <clears throat> time about five of swords in reverse for scorpio regarding love Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. Just for Gemini, October 1st to the 11th. Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. Five of Swords in reverse. Oh, Jesus. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Yeah, you're revisiting the mistakes that you feel you made in the past. The investments that you put into people and the people that basically did you wrong. Did you wrong. Talk about the Five of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Talk about the Five of Swords in reverse. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Strength in reverse, Leo energy. Whatever happened to you in the past, Scorpio, whatever you're thinking about in the past, because I feel like you're being triggered to very specific things or specific feelings here, uh, whatever happened in your past really, really dug into your confidence. Some of you lost faith in how to judge people. Lost faith in your own judgment as well. Lost faith in your own judgment as well. I, that's heavy, Scorps. That's heavy. Talking about Five of Swords in reverse. Talking about Five of Swords in reverse. Again, this is past. I feel like a lot of you have worked through making judgments about people. Maybe some of you are realizing, oh, shit, I haven't worked through that. Talking about Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like this is your energy, Scorps. Really, what did I say? Look at the way she's looking at that cup. She looks a little sad, right? Yeah. She's not happy. She's really focusing on the past too much. She or he, right? Scorps. Um, but this is definitely your energy, kind of being in your feels. Mm, Scorpio, some of you are letting your emotions kind of run the show here, okay? Just be careful of that. <clears throat> Talking about Five of Swords in reverse. A lot of you are thinking about how much you've given to others in the past and how that's, that hasn't been reciprocated or that's been betrayed and you're looking at this person like you're just going to do the same thing. 
We got, by the way, we have the King and Queen of Cups here. Perfect pair. Yeah, some of you are looking at this person like you're about to do the same thing to me that everyone else did. Some of you are starting to look at this person like that. <clears throat> so I have five of swords in reverse. Yep, expectation. Three of wands, Aries energy. You expect history to repeat itself here. And, you, and, and Scorpio, like I said, if your intuition is telling you something, listen to that. But don't jump to conclusions. Try to get some facts here. And believe me, I know you're intuitive. Sometimes your intuition tells you a lot more than facts can just, you know. Sometimes your intuition can tell you a lot more than digging through facts will, right? But I'm just telling you, Scorpios, get facts here because I can tell how triggered you guys are. And I can tell that some of you are really into your emotions right now. So just, just keep that in mind that your intuition might be telling you something, but maybe you don't know the full facts of what your intuition's trying to tell you. Right now, you're basically playing, what did I say? Judge, jury, lawyer, executioner. You're labeling this person in the box of the people from the past. So I have five of swords in reverse for Scorpio. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, take your time to really think it through, okay? Your intuition, the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. We do have the full moon coming up in Aries. The Three of Wands is an Aries card. Keep in mind this could be playing out during the full moon in Aries, okay? Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. This is an energy of growth and building and abundance, or building to abundance. Scorpios, like I said, for a lot of you, this is working through your own issues. So you can learn a lesson here and you can have some growth. Okay, that's definitely a reason that this is coming up for a lot of you. Um, this is also about this other person, I think, making an approach on you. Whatever, yeah, for some of you, this person's approaching you and they're doing it really slow. Virgo energy, don't know if I said that. Um, they're doing it really, really, really slow. But Scorpios, you're not trusting it because you're too triggered by whatever this shift has been. Okay, all right, jeez. So let's move ahead. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is your energy, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, with the King of Cups in reverse, the person that you're looking at, who is a true pair situation, just have to point that out. Could be another Scorpio, but not necessarily. It's a very masculine energy, whether they're female or male. Um, you're looking at them like they're manipulative, like they're emotionally deceptive and manipulative. You're having, I'm also hearing they're having trouble trusting their words. Well, I get that, Scorps, because words are easy, right? It's all about the action. But they are trying to take action towards you. They are trying to, but you're looking at them like, no, you're just, you're, you're, you're just like the rest. You're, you're seriously already labeling this person. You're just like the rest of them. You're just like the rest of them. Let's look at the nine of pentacles in a verse. I feel your fear there. I know you don't like that word Scorpio, but I can feel it. That's where your fear is lying. Uh, let's do spellcasters for this one. So I have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Time of the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Time of the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Time of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of Virgo energy. You have actually. Yeah, a lot of Virgo energy. A lot of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles, and a lot of water naturally. Scorpio. So about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. Wish fulfillment, also a very single energy as well. Being very happy, being very satisfied. Oh, Scorpios. Coming into the situation before you're triggered, you're very happy. You're very happy. You sense this shift and you get triggered. And all of a sudden, you're, you're afraid that you might lose that happiness. Let's see what else we got here. Not confident that it's like it's built on authenticity. Again, a very big theme in October, which I've talked about with the New Moon Libra video. Check that out if you guys haven't yet. Tell me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I just heard Virgo. <laughs> Tell me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Oh, that's too many cards. Too many cards, Spirit. Oh, thank you. What is this? Ay! Oh, five of Wands, Leo energy and the Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. Scorpio, I feel like you're going into fight mode here a little bit. Um, 
again, your intuition's telling you something and you're listening to it. And again, I think you should just be mindful on where you're taking it, okay? Be mindful where you're taking it. If something tells you something's off, then something's off and act accordingly. Don't fall down the rabbit hole of what the details might be. Scorpios, I know you like to do that. Details, devil's in the details for a reason, right? Go with what your gut is telling you. Something's off, then something's off and just take it as that, right? But realizing that there's uh, a lot of tension here and it's putting you into fight mode against this person. Some of you might be realizing there's competition. If this is a romantic situation, some of you are realizing there's competition. That's what your intuition's telling you. For, the, for those Scorpios, I feel like it's more an energy of like you've been cheated on a lot. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. We're going to look at that Five of Wands because it's really bothering me. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Let's see here. Justice. Libra energy. Yeah. It's funny because, oh, that just fell right out of my hand. It's funny because, yes, this is the Libra card. And Libra, you are about justice. You're about fairness. You're about what's right. You're about what's balanced, right? Scorpios, you're about karmic justice. I think I talked about this months ago. You're about karmic justice, okay? What you deserve, what's right for you out of a situation in regards to other people. You want your karmic justice. But like I said, it's very courthouse energy, right? Just like I was picking up on. Do not play judge, jury, executioner, lawyer, witness. You can't play everybody, okay? You can't be every role in this, all right? Um, that's what you're looking for, though, and that's what you want. You want your karmic justice. You've, Like I said, you've already kind of judged this person and labeled them fuckers from the past. That's how you've labeled this person, okay? Whether they deserve it or not, that's a different story for all of you, okay? But we're going to look at this Five of Wands. Overall energy... We do have the Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. Yeah, some of you Scorpios feel like someone's about to like dip on you, abandon you, betray you. And it's really triggering you from stuff in the past from what people have done to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this Five of Wands and see what the deal is there. Okay, uh, let me use Lenormand deck on this. And then we're going to go into this energy, energy, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, it might be an hour reading. I just looked at the time. We're going to look at that energy and then we're going to pull some advice. Talking about the Five of Wands. Ooh. We've got the Clover energy of two with the Six of Pentacles here. Something that's lucky, fortunate, also abundant. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. There's definitely more to that card. I think before that you got triggered. I think you felt very fortunate to have this person in your, enter your life. There's something about this person where it's like, it just felt good. It just felt really good. Talking about the Five of Wands. Oh, and I just heard it wasn't empty. I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's something that will resonate for some of you guys. It wasn't empty. Talking about the Five of Wands. We've got the ship. Damn it. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Energy of Three, Progression. Ship is leaving something. Yeah, you feel like this person's about to dip on you, Scorpio. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Now we have this little sequence that came out. We have the sun with the ace of pentacles. We have the ring, energy of 25, breaking down to a seven. Energy of the sun is 31, a four, uh, with the ace of wands. So you have an ace of wands and ace of pentacles. Cloud is confusion. Energy of six with the king of wands. And then we have the rider with the nine of cups, energy of one. Clouds are confusion. The ring and the sun, it's like, this is a blessing. This is a, also a commitment. The ring is about bonds, uh, bondage, committing, being loyal, that sort of thing. Um, the sun is about happiness, joy. The rider is someone who's moving. It's movement. So yeah, Scorpios, you feel like someone's about to dip. You're very confused because it's like, this seems so promising. This seems so right. And you're getting confusion because you feel like someone's about to dip on you. Very indicative of this energy too, leaving leaving a fortunate situation here with the Ten of Swords ending it as well. Jesus. All right, let's see what else we get out with this. But the fact that the cloud is here, Scorpio, that tells me right out the gate that yes, your intuition's telling you something, but you're trying to fill in the blanks here. And they might not be you might not be accurately filling in the blanks. Tell me about the five of wands. I just heard you, Scorpios. Well, if I if they actually just told me what's going on, 
<laughs> Scorpios, I love you. Hey, I agree. I agree. I'm not this person. I'm just the messenger. Time so out the five of wands for Scorpio. Oh, that's it. On the bottom. Oh, shit. We've got the path. 22, which is a master number with the queen of pentacles here. The path is exactly how it sounds. It's moving forward. It's like a two of wands energy. It could also be choosing a new path, right? You see that path? You see that path? It could be choosing a new path. Underneath that, we have the tower. 19 cyclical energy with the six of swords. The tower is like the hierophant. It's in institution. It's commitment here. You feel like someone's about to leave you, Scorpio, for someone else. Sorry, straight out the gate. You feel like someone's about to leave. You're coming across as a queen of swords and a queen of cups. And now we have a queen of pence here of a new path of commitment and you're thinking that someone's leaving you're thinking that someone's leaving already and leaving something that's very that feels like a blessing to you something that made you really happy again this is what you're thinking i don't think you have the facts this is what you're thinking this is intuitively what you're expecting to happen based off of past events uh that you're still carrying pain from okay let's look at this this is miscommunication and a block to, to really kind of getting clarity of a situation and not feeling so alone. I Like I said, I feel like this person, this King of Cups energy, really wants to just kind of talk, like really wants to just kind of like get closer to you because you have gone quiet, Scorpio. You've gone quiet on this person, but Eight of Wands in reverse is a block. Keep in mind, Eight of Wands in reverse is also indicative of Mercury retrograde energy, which we will be going into the pre-shadow for that starts on October 11th, goes retrograde on the 31st, okay? Uh... Yeah, let's do Eight of Wands in reverse. Let's look at Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm going to do Gilded for this. Time of the Eight of Wands in reverse. Time of the Eight of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Time of the Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. I think we're going to use the soul's journey today, Scorpio, because this is a heavy reading. There's quite the heavy reading here. So I have Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, October 1st. Ooh. Eight of Wands, Zaj energy. Yeah, they, they want to talk, Scorpio. They want to talk. They want to talk. They want to communicate. They want to get things moving. See? Truth. Ace of Swords. They want to deliver some truth, Scorpio. They just want to have an honest conversation. Even though you don't trust. Oh my. Oh my. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water with the Empress in reverse. Libra energy could also be Taurus. It is Venus energy, Divine Feminine energy as well. Scorpios, I don't think this is your energy. I gotta be honest. Don't worry, I'm sure you guys are empresses in your own right. But I feel like it, God. Scorpio, I don't know who this is, but it's truth about the energy that you were picking up on. That intuitive energy of like, thinking someone's choosing a new path and commitment here. This is honest communication about it. You don't wanna to talk to this person until they tell you the truth about the energy you're picking up on intuitively. Oh shit, Scorpio. Now I feel like your stinger's out. Now I feel like your stinger's out. So I'm at Eight of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. And there's that King of Wands that we had in the Lenormand deck. Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is your Knight of Pentacles. You want them to be honest about what it is you're picking up on. Very Scorpionic. <laughs> Very Scorpionic. So I'm at Eight of Wands in reverse. You might even accuse this person of having someone else or thinking about someone else. Play about eight of wands in reverse. Yep, and there you are, Scorpio, queen of swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like you're putting this person on the spot. Like they wanna talk, but I feel like it's not going super well. And then you're just like, you know, we're gonna have an honest conversation. We're gonna have an honest conversation. And this is you talking to them. You're gonna tell me about this person. You're gonna tell me who the fuck that is. <laughs> you're gonna tell me what I'm picking up on intuitively. You're gonna be honest about it. You're going to be honest about it. I feel like you are kind of, your stinger's out now. Your stinger's out now during this conversation. Overall energy, we have three of wands, Aries energy, the expectation that you have, Scorpio, that came in from your intuition because you got a download or an intuitive hit. Yep, page of pentacles in reverse. 
This is a very envious, selfish energy, a very taking energy, a very self-focused energy. You expect this person to do you wrong and serve themselves. That's what you expect to happen based off of your intuition. Okay? And it's triggering shit from the past, which is why it's painful and why you, you're, you know, really taking this home and really taking this to heart. Like I said, never ignore your intuition. Just be mindful on what blank, you know, what blanks you're filling in. Okay? Try not to fill in the blanks. Just take what you're getting intuitively and just run with that. Don't try to make it more than what it is. Okay? But you are going to accuse this person. <laughs> you're definitely going to confront this person. So let's go ahead and use this uh, Soul's, Journey deck, Soul's Journey deck here. And then I might use the Animal Spirit deck because I think you guys need this one. I think you guys need this one. Uh, any advice or messages for my Scorpios? Anything that my Scorpios can be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Hi. Anything you want my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Scorpios, it's so crazy too, because like you're talking this person's ear, like you're going to tell me about that person and they're not even looking at you. Only more suspect, right? God, I'm sorry, Scorps. I know this is kind of hard. Any other advice or messages? You want my Scorpios to know regarding this spread? Anything on my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Yeah, that feels pretty good. Anything you want my... Oh, interesting. Indecision. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. <laughs> Scorpios, what did I say? Your intuition is helping you out here, but don't use it to try and fill in all the detailed blanks, okay? It's gonna make you crazy. Just take what you get and just leave it at that and act accordingly. Anything else you want my Scorpios to be aware of? Anything else you want my Scorpios to be aware of? Wow. Love. Oh shit, Scorpios, this message. I commit to the practice of seeing all good in all things. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't really see it because it's backwards for me. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Oh, and that's hard for you right now, Scorpios. I can feel it. With whatever you're getting intuitively, that's really hard for you right now. This is advice. This is totally advice, Scorpio, where to be coming from a place of what? Compassion and understanding seeing the good in people, even if they don't always act on that. That's hard. That's hard. That's just spirit talking. That ain't me. That's spirit talking. I'm just the messenger, okay? All right, let's see what else we got here. Anything else you want my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything else you want my Scorpios to be aware of regarding this spread? Ooh. Oh, okay. I like, oh, oh, shit. Okay. I like this one. <laughs> Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Oh, Scorpios, this is going to be so hard for you. I'm not going to lie. Like, I just, you know, I just know you guys. And I can feel your energy because you're so triggered. You're really thinking about the past. You're really, like, looking at this person like, you motherfucker. You're going to do the same shit that everyone else did. Um, you're using your intuition, but almost to the point where it's putting you in a state of confusion because you think this person's leaving but you're not sure because it's, you're filling in the blanks, right? You're filling in the blanks instead of just taking what your intuition's giving you. Uh, spirit needs, spirit's telling you to come from a place of compassion, understanding, and I really feel like it's more for yourself and not this person, okay? Keep in mind, some of you, there really is another person that your intuition's been like, yep, there is, there is another person here. And this king is obviously very focused on them as you're trying to talk to them about it and trying to get them to tell you the truth. So like I said, Scorps, for your intuition, it's on point. Some of you, the details are on point, but others, it's not. So so you don't make yourself crazy. Come from a place of compassion and love here, and that will always lead you in the right direction. If you don't feel like this person is loving you, don't stay. It's very obvious, right? If you feel like this person doesn't love you or doesn't have love for you or the capacity to love you because they're giving it somewhere else or their mind is somewhere else, you don't need to be dealing with this person, and that will always lead you to success, okay? It's your life. You're the masters of your own life. You decide what you want to do. But also having compassion and understanding for yourself as well regarding these past issues. Jeez, why isn't it in focus? Okay, there we go. Regarding these past issues, because that's coming up for a reason, and it's time to heal that and deal with that, okay? 
because I can feel it. It's a big trigger for a lot of you. On the bottom, you ready? This is kind of a tough one to swallow. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. What did I say, Scorps? Stop focusing on the cause and start focusing on the effect that your past has had on you. You can't do anything about those people now except forgive them and forgive yourself and release it, accept it and release it. Um, you can't change the past, but also, Scorps, not everyone is going to be those people from your past. I know that's heavy and a little hard to hear, but it's just true. It's just true. Not everyone will be that same person from the past. Not everyone will do you the same way all those other people from the past did. I know that's a hard one. I know. I'm glad I did the soul's journey. All right. Now let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck. I'm going to have to stitch this so you might lose a second. So I'm just letting you guys know. Any advice from my Scorpios? And even if this person is doing you wrong, Scorpio, that's on them. That's not on you right? That's on them. It's not on you. All you can do is accept it and release them if they're doing you wrong, all right? And keep in mind for those where there really is another person that this person's focusing on, you could be any one of these people because it's just energy, okay? Let's see here. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice from us Scorpios? Oh, ah, regarding the spread. The cards are trying to run away from me. Any advice from my Scorpios regarding the spread? Any advice from my Scorpios regarding the spread? Any advice from my Scorpios regarding... Any advice from my Scorpios regarding the spread? Oh, can't believe you guys got this card. Otter Spirit, you were never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. This is usually my two of cups lovers, divine soul connection. Like, I love you no matter what. I'm with you. Unconditional love kind of energy. Um, Scorpios, for some of you, this person is that does fit that bill. But because you're getting triggered and you're trying to work through these wounds, you might not be seeing that. You might not be seeing that. For Scorpios, where you are seeing that they are kind of playing you or that, oh, excuse me, or that they don't really mean you well, or they have their focus on someone else, or they're in love with someone else and they're not in love with you. This is a reminder that you do have a lot of love, Scorpio, and you are very loved. I feel like I had this message for you before. I feel like I've had this message for you recently, that you do have a lot of people who love you and care about you, including your own guides. And Scorpios, a lot of you do love yourself. Some of you need to practice more self-love, but a lot of you do love yourself too. Not all love has to be romantic, right? Right. But some of you, like I said, you're a little confused because you're picking up on something, but you're filling in the blanks and you're not seeing that this person really does have your back. Okay? It's for some of you. Any other advice for Scorpio? Any other advice? <laughs> I'm sorry, this next one's really funny. Scorpio, watch your words. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Parrot spirit, 45, break it down to a nine. What did I say? When you have this conversation, your stinger is going to be out. Okay. Your stinger is going to be out and you are going to be very accusatory. All right. I'm just saying for some of you, you know who you are. You know who you are. I don't even need to explain that card to you, Scorpios. You already know why that's there. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Any other advice for my Scorpios? regarding this spread any other advice for my scorpios regarding this spread oh wow scorpios overall energy nightingale spirit love is all around 41 breaking down to five remember we also have this coming from a place of compassion and understanding even if it's just to yourself right and trying to give it to this person as well can try to give them benefit of the doubt i know that's hard scorps but try it's just gonna make you more have more peace it's for you it ain't for them it's for you okay but you guys know me, <laughs> those who've been with me for a while. When this card comes out, it's usually indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in this. And with the Otter card, that's a lot of love here. Scorpios, I do feel for some of you, the lesson is be careful on your assumptions here and be careful on how you act on them because some of you might say something you're going to regret. 
I forgot this was there. Some of you are going to say something that you're going to regret. Okay? Just be mindful of that. Just be very mindful of that. Underneath that, we do have dragonfly spirit. Uh, that's weird. Truth transcends illusion. Energy of 22, self-mastery number. They gave me the message for coyote. Trust in divine detours. I don't know why they gave me the message for coyote. I literally heard it as I was about to read that, and that's why I had to stop because it threw me for a minute. Um... You could be dealing with someone who has a coyote-like energy or animal totem or, you know, this, like I said, Scorps, lessons, lessons, lessons. Coyote throws curveballs to get us on the right track, get us on the right path, and paths include lessons. Scorpios, yeah, you're picking up on something intuitively. Don't fill in the blanks. Do not fill in the blanks. It's going to lead you down this path of maybe saying something to this person that you might regret because maybe the shift is just... Maybe they're planning something. Maybe they're getting rid of someone. Maybe they, you know, want to surprise you or something like you, you just don't know. You sense the shift. The shift is accurate. You don't know why there was a shift. Right? Don't fill in the blanks. Just don't. But your intuition, like I said, is very on point here. You're, you do sense something's up. You just don't know what it is, and a lot of you are kind of going to that negative mindset, that negative place, based off of what people have done to you in the past, and it's just triggering that fear in you. It's time to deal with that, time to do some ego healing, and then maybe step to this person and be like, hey, I've been feeling this, that, or the other. What's going on? And have the conversation, and then decide then if you think they're a big fat liar, okay? <laughs> All right, Scorpios, tread lightly here. Tread lightly, because some of you will be finding out that this person might have someone else. Some of you might be finding that out. Others are going to be finding out that you were wrong about that. So just decide, okay? All right, Scorpios, I hope this was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Scorps. Namaste.